Okay, so the first thing is you need to go to X Normal and you need to download the program. I don't actually use the program, I just use the Photoshop plugins which will be included in a zip file here. The next thing you need to do is you need to go find the file for the CO, the color map, and you need to find the no HQ, the normal map. You can find that by going to your Steam directory, finding your game, going to the add-ons, most everything will be in add-ons, and then you just gotta find what exactly it is you're looking for. Um, it'll be in one of these, uniforms is always in characters, uh, vehicles will be in armor, wield, air. Uh, in this example, I'm going to open up air and I'm going to go find the Neofron textures. So you need to grab the uh, CO files and the NoHQ files for uh, whatever it is. If it's a vehicle, typically it'll have multiple files. Sometimes, you know, I open them just to check and see what exactly it is. Um, to make sure like that one in particular, I want that. So I grab the CO and I grab the associated no HQ file. I go through, make sure I get everything grabbed. And then the next thing is you need to open in Photoshop. I've got a plugin in Photoshop that lets me open PAAs. I'll have a link for that. I open up the CO file. Uh, if you open up the no HQ directly in Photoshop, it's kind of weird because of the way the channels work for it. The way I do it, I prefer to have the original look of it so I open up the no HQ in text view I save it as a PNG and then I open that into Photoshop so then I take the no HQ put it into the file we're using and then I go through and make sure that everything's labeled correctly then we need to make the set of diffuse textures um, that's all gonna be made with the normal map so we'll duplicate the normal map duplicate it again so you're gonna have two copies of it the first copy we're gonna go to image adjustment desaturate that becomes the height map next you duplicate the height map and you name it AO it's the ambient occlusion map we go to filter X normal I leave it as basically what I have here I'm not too particular about the ambient occlusion map you can obviously mess with it find what you like the last thing you do take the other normal map name it cavity filter X normal normals to cavity set the contrast to 2.0 radius 8 for vehicles, I usually use EMB. For things like uniforms, vests, things that have like fabric texture, I will just use EDT. But for vehicles, I do like to use this. I find it gives a little bit better results. You set each one to multiply, and then basically your template is set up. From this point, you go through and do Photoshop stuff like cut out uh, different sections so that you can recolor them. What I have started doing, select everything that I want the camo to be on. You can be a little sloppy on some of this because some parts of the texture are not actually being used. Like you can see on the edges of some of those. Then what I do, I make a new group that's empty and then I hit the mask button with the selection so that anything that I place on a layer inside of that group will be masked out. So it's pretty easy. I apply the diffuse layer and then you get the texture on top of it. Vehicles, it doesn't look so good in the Photoshop preview, but once you get it in game, it looks pretty good. You can tell the difference. So I hope this was informative and will allow you to quickly make textures. Uh, it's not super time consuming. The hard part is cutting everything out meticulously.